Hey guys, it's Lyric and welcome back to another video. I'm so excited for this video and I know I say that in almost every video, but I'm just extra, extra, extra beyond excited for this one because it's the first official Christmas video of 2022. Christmas is my favorite time on my channel. It's my favorite time of the year. Everything is so much better during Christmas. So I'm super excited. It's getting a little more chilly here in Texas. So as soon as the weather drops, I kind of think about fall for like a week and a half, two weeks, somewhere around there, and then like I'm ready for Christmas. It's mentally Christmas up here. I have created this super long Christmas wish list ideas list for you guys, and I'm so excited to share it with you. I've made this video two other times, so if you watch through this whole video and you still don't have enough ideas, go watch my other two. They're some of the most viewed videos on my channel, so they should be easy to find, but I've tried to include some pretty creative ideas on here. Not everything is super basic. I really try to make this a diverse list for you guys to help you out. Personally, I have learned that the Christmas season and the holiday season is more exciting when you have your Christmas shopping done beforehand. It's just so much less stressful. So I would recommend you get out your list, you get out your notes app, and you're ready to copy and paste some links. To help you guys out, I am I'm gonna be linking my Amazon storefront. I have different categories of gifts that I will be sharing with you guys and I've also created those categories in my Amazon storefront so it is literally so easy for you guys to shop. Most of the items that I mentioned in this video will be linked in my storefront and then you can just scroll through and add it to your cart. I just wanted to make this an easier and fun experience for you guys. It does take a lot of time to like find all the items and get them listed on there so go check it out. It's a helpful resource for y'all and your Christmas shopping this year. Okay, without further ado, let's get into these Christmas wish list ideas. Okay, so I will be going through seven different categories for you guys today. We have clothing, beauty, fitness, tech, decor, car, and random. So let's hop into the first category, which is clothing. First off, I put cargo pants. These pants just look so good. These type of pants have been so popular recently. They're really good for the cooler months. They look cute. They up your style. Like they just make your style look cool. Personally, that's what I think. Like when I see someone wearing cargo pants, I'm like, you're cooler than me. College slash school merch. So if you're in high school, maybe you want to get some merch from your school. Or if you're in college, I know it's a big thing like game days, you wanna have cute outfits or cute merch to wear around campus so you can ask for that. Or you could ask for your favorite sports team merch, obviously. I know there are some really big sports fans out there. This is a good gift for your dad. If your dad is into sports, you can get him some merchandise for his favorite team that he's overly obsessed with and you're like, dad, Calm down, okay? <laughs> North Face Puffer Jacket. These are so cute. I don't know what it is about them, but they're just so cute. I love the way they look, the little puffy things, and they're kind of cropped, or they're not cropped, they're just not super long, but these just look so pretty. I've seen these around. It's rarely cold enough to actually need one of those in Texas, but if it was, I would want one. Airy Flare Leggings. Oh my goodness. Okay, I know you guys have heard of these. I actually got them with my best friend kind of before they started popping off, and they are so worth the money. I know they're expensive, but they're so worth it. I love them. I love the way they look. I could go on and on about those, but they are amazing and they come in so many pretty colors. I highly recommend those. Zip up jackets. These are my style during this time of year. In the winter, it's all I wear. They're just cute. I don't know what it is about them. You can get graphic ones that have like graphics on the front or you can get basic ones. It's a really cool way to layer your outfits. Sweatpants, absolutely love them. We all know what those are. We all love them. Gray ones, fantastic. Good quality jeans. I feel like Christmas is a good time to ask for jeans because it's definitely cooler so we are wearing jeans more often. And good quality jeans can be a little more pricey so that would be a good thing to ask for this year. Athletic sets. You know what I love about these? It takes no effort. Like if you know how to match your colors, like I, I, I feel like most people know how to do that. If you do know how to do that, you literally put on a top, a bottom, maybe throw on like a zip up jacket, some cute shoes. 
you have a fit. You look fitted, you look stylish, and how much effort did that take? Matching colors, exactly. Athletic sets are superior. They make you look cool, but you don't even have to try. Trucker hats. I know I mentioned this last year, and since last year to this year, I have worn trucker hats. I wear them all the time. My sister and I, we have curly hair, so when it hasn't been like a wash day, like today, I wash my hair and everything, I probably will be wearing a hat, not tomorrow, but the day after. It's needed. My hair gets frizzy or it gets messy and I just don't feel like doing it, so I pop a trucker hat on, call it a day. Perfect. Fluffy socks. Something about the holiday season just reminds me of fluffy socks, so getting them for Christmas is fitting. It just makes sense. And that would also be like a good stocking stuffer because they're kind of small. They don't have to, well, depends on how fluffy they are. But I think they can be a pretty good stocking stuffer. Cute house shoes. I almost always get this every year now because I'm the one in the family that is always wearing house shoes. These are my current ones that my sister gifted to me last year. They're actually not as dirty as I thought they would be. I really love these. The year before, I had some pink slippers. If you watched any of my videos back then, I wear these every single day. So almost every Christmas, I get new house shoes. It's kind of becoming an unspoken annual gift. <laughs> Nike blazers. I've mentioned these before, but I have Nike blazers. I've had them for about a year now. They're so dirty because they're my gym shoe and also the only other shoe that I wear in general. I don't know what it is about these, but they go with almost everything. They go with so many outfits. That's why I'm recommending them because I know shoes can be expensive and you really want them to work with a lot of things that you're wearing. Get Nike blazers. Like they just look good with so many things. I probably need a new pair because mine are so dirty. You can ask anyone I know. They'll tell you that those are the only shoes that I wear. High top Converse. I'm thinking about maybe asking for some of these for Christmas because I feel like they're similar to the Nike blazers. They look good with a lot of outfits. Maybe a little less than the blazers depending on what color you get, but they're so cute. I just love the way they look. Jordan 1s or Nike Dunks. People who aren't really into shoes probably actually get these mixed up. They can look pretty similar, but those are two different shoes. I love the looks of both of these. They can be a higher price, but they're definitely cute. And if you're looking for a new pair of shoes, those would be cool to ask for. Okay, now we're gonna move on to the beauty section. What I actually had this titled as in my notes was skincare, beauty, body. So that's everything that's gonna be in this little section. First off, I have an ice roller. I have seen more and more people use these in the mornings to depuff their face. It's good for your skin, especially in the mornings, and I feel like that would just be so nice to have like some cool ice to roll on your face. Acne patches. You can get these at so many places now. It's just to help your blemishes. You put them on usually before you go to bed, and it helps like extract any of the bad stuff and gunk in your face. Some people leave them on throughout the day if you get like the star face ones because they're just cute and they're also helping so I have some that I use overnight and I've actually seen how they help I get mine from Target but they're also on Amazon as well a silk eye mask I personally don't use eye masks but I know some people do and silk ones I have used a silk one before it feels so nice it actually like puts me to sleep just like that a makeup slash skincare headband to help keep your hair out of your face when you're putting on makeup or doing your skincare. Us girls can tend to have a lot of hair and it can get in the way of our canvas. We don't want that. Makeup brushes. You can ask for a new makeup brush set. Throw out your old ones. Get some clean ones. Perfectly clean brushes heading into the new year. All of your regular skincare products. I feel like not many people think to ask for this for Christmas, but if you're running out of your skincare or even if you're not, you can just ask for a full set of all your skincare stuff because I don't know if you're like me, I personally will get to where I'm literally scraping off the last bit of lotion I have or like squeezing out the little bit of cleanser left and I still haven't ordered my new stuff. Go ahead and do that now. That way you don't get stressed and you're like not even able to do your skincare routine for a few days. Facial spin brush. This is what I use to wash off my face. I don't wear a lot of makeup anymore, but I still wash my face with a spin brush. It just feels like it cleans my face so much better and I love the way my face feels after washing it with the spin brush. Face masks and hair masks. We both know how these work. Face masks make the face feel great. Hair masks, 
I actually have never used a hair mask, but it's kind of like leave-in conditioner, I guess, and you put it under your roots and then like you wash it out after a certain amount of time. Lip oil or lip gloss. I have heard a lot about the Dior lip oil. So if you're wanting your lips to be extra glossy and beautiful, you can ask for some good lip oil or lip gloss. Also, good stocking stuffer. Claw clips. I don't know about you, I think the claw clip hairstyle is so cute, especially people that don't have curly hair that will get severely messed up if they use it. The style is so good and it looks so model off duty. And I've also heard that it's a really effortless hairstyle. I will never use one of those because it will, it will mess my hair up. Like it will literally go frizzy. Not for me, but if your hair works with it, get it. Last thing I have in this category is the Grande Lash Serum. I still want to get this, but I know it's so expensive and that's why I still have it. However, I have not heard one single person say they've used it and it hasn't worked. I'm not saying that it's perfect and that it's always, always working, but I personally haven't heard a bad thing about it. If you're wanting your lashes to grow and you need more lash growth, I would highly recommend this. It seems like such a good product. All right, next category we have is fitness. One of my personal faves, if you're a gym rat, listen up guys, kickback straps. I hate going to the gym, someone's using it, you're ready to get your workout in, have your own, you're good to go. Don't even have to wait, don't have to ask to borrow anyone else's, you're stocked and ready. Lifting grips, this is for when you're lifting heavy and especially for lower body when you're able to lift something with your legs but it's hard to hold the weight with your hands. Lifting grips will help you be able to hold on to the weight while you're lifting. Also, I don't know if you realize for all the fitness stuff, I kind of chose like a pink option to show you all because I just think fitness stuff that's pink is so much better. I'm sorry, you can't tell me it's not better. I would lift so much better if all my stuff was pink. I'm just putting that out there. A lifting belt. This is self-explanatory for like squats and stuff. You want a lifting belt. A barbell pad. I know a lot of this stuff gyms have, but it's just fun to have your own. And sometimes it's also beneficial because they can all be taken or all be occupied at that moment. So you can get your own barbell pad for hip thrust, all that type of stuff. A water bottle or a hydro jug. I actually have one and I really like it because it can hold your keys, your cards, or like your wallet and like a half gallon of water. So super helpful. A gym bag to hold all of this stuff in. A foam roller that reminds me I literally need to roll out my quads because I've been sore for the past three days and they hurt so bad I literally didn't go to the gym today because of how sore I was so probably should get one of those protein powder protein bars greens this is all stuff that we're always ingesting because it's good for muscle growth and for health. A shaker cup for pre-workout. I don't think I put pre-workout on this list. You can get that too. Shaker cup, good for pre greens, protein shakes, a bunch of good drinks. Resistance bands, this is self-explanatory, but also if you like to work out at home or do like non-weighted workouts, resistance bands are so good. Like they are such a game changer and really helpful. Celsius, I feel like a lot of gym rats are obsessed with Celsius. It's like we know we don't always need to have it, but it is so good. I wanna be sponsored by Celsius. Can we all just like hit up Celsius Instagram and be like, hey, Sponsor her. Massage gun. My brother recently got one of these and it's really nice. Great for the muscles. Feels amazing. Also hurts at the same time, but you know, it's great. And the last thing I have in here is oversized tees or like pump covers. I personally always work out in an oversized tee and like shorts. Moving on to the next category, which is tech. This is a big one during Christmas. It really is. It's understandable too, because when else are you gonna logically be able to get some of these items? Gonna start off with the basic things that every single person knows. It would just not make sense if they weren't included in this video. So here we go. iPhone, iPad, MacBook, Apple Watch, AirPods, Apple AirPods Max. I don't know what those are officially called. It's kind of weird, but you know, there's really aesthetically pleasing ones that are like overly priced a little bit. Then of course you can ask for a phone case, a laptop case, or an AirPod case because you want to protect those extremely expensive electronics. I do have a bunch of iPhone 12 Pro Max phone cases that I'm selling on Mercari. I will link those in the description, but please go check those out because I got a new phone. This is a 14 Pro Max, so I don't need any of those cases. They're great cases, good quality, and feel amazing. Also, they're from me, so that has to make them a little extra special, right? 
a long phone charger this can actually be more helpful than you would expect phone charm to spice up your phone case you want a cute little dangly thingy on your phone also could be a good stocking stuffer a ring light if you are into making films or YouTube things like that iCloud slash Google slash Amazon photo storage super super helpful for people who take a lot of pictures I honestly need to get something like this set up that way if your phone ever broke or something all of your photos are backed up to one of those things sometimes you do have to pay for extra storage that's why I included it in this Apple air tags for like belongings that you want to be able to track if they got stolen your purse or your car an Apple pencil this is helpful if you're doing stuff on your iPad all the time if you make your thumbnails on an iPad and you have like procreate you could get an Apple Pencil and that would be really helpful. An Alexa. Alexa, off. Uh, any type of Bluetooth speaker. A shower speaker to get your showers to that next level. Maybe you're tired of showers. They're just not it for you. Get a shower speaker. Might be life changing. You never know. A Kindle, if you like to read on the go, don't always want to have a book in your hand, but you still want to read, highly recommend that. I personally could never use a Kindle. I have to hold a book in my hand. An iPhone projector. I included this on my list last year and almost didn't put it on this year, but I just think it's such a cool idea. Like if you have an open space or an open wall in your room, get an iPhone projector. That way you can play shows on your phone. You set it on there and it's big. Like you don't have to buy a whole thousand dollar TV. Portable charger. Charger. These are lifesavers and you never realize how life-saving they are until you're running throughout the airport or you're traveling in the middle of the forest. That's when it's good to have a portable one. Canon G7X Mark II. That is the camera I have right now. I have had this camera for like three years now. Never broken it. Used it for almost all of my YouTube videos. I absolutely love it. Would highly recommend it. Super great for vlogging. I love the autofocus. If you're looking to up your vlogging game, so most likely already a YouTuber or content creator, I would recommend the Canon M50. If I were to upgrade from the current camera that I have, this would be the one that I get. I have seen YouTubers use this and I love the way it looks. You can just tell it takes your content to the next level. And the last thing I have in this text section is a film camera if you're really into that older more film style look I would recommend a film camera moving on to decor first thing I have is new bedding bedding can be a little pricey personally in my bedding this white right here is from Amazon so I will try to link it in the decor section but I absolutely love this. I've had this for a while. I love the white and it's just my favorite. A makeup organizer to keep all your products organized and keep your space clean because that can get a little hectic. A sunset lamp projector. These lights are so cool. I've seen them in people's rooms, especially at night. It helps give off that like golden hour light and you can use it for cool videos and stuff like that. A full body mirror. I feel like this is a necessity in every room. If you can't check your fit from head to toe, what are you doing? Cute and aesthetic looking mugs. This I put in decor because it's just something I consider decor. Of course you can get them for coffee and like your drinks and stuff, but you can also set them up in your room and put like pens or cute little things in them. A soft or decor blanket. Blankets are superior. I get a new one almost every Christmas because my grandma's just amazing. You can get a high quality blanket, a low quality, like just get one from Target. A mini trash can or just like a trash can for your room. I have one, it's a lifesaver. I don't wanna have to get up and walk to the bathroom or the kitchen to throw stuff away. I just throw it from my bed. I usually miss, but it's okay. An air purifier. Someone mentioned this to me, and I think it's a smart idea. I never would have thought of this, but yes, if you want the air around you to just be extra fresh, extra clean, get an air purifier. A mini vase. That way you can put some cute little flowers, and it'll also force you to go out and buy some flowers for yourself. You should have some cute flowers in your room. A record player. These are so pretty to me. I don't even really know how to work one, but they're pretty. The record players are just art. An alarm clock. I put this in decor because like you can see it in your room, in your area. I don't know if you can see that, but it's kind of really simple and I kind of love it. I hate the sound that it makes. It's actually kind of disgusting. It wakes me up in the morning like what are you doing? But it is cute, so. Candles. 
I don't even need to say anything else. Throw pillows. I have a few right here. I've had these for years. Couldn't tell you where they're from. They're like those random ones that I've just acquired over some time. But throw pillows will spice up your place. And the last thing I have in this section is light switch covers. This is just cool to me. Like when I walk into a place and people have light switch covers, I'm like, whoa, I like you. I have some in my room. I've had these for a long time. They're from Hobby Lobby. And it just spices the area up. It's a little something that you can do. But it definitely doesn't go unnoticed. Okay, moving on to the sixth category. And that is your car or whatever you drive. First off, we have a tissue holder. Personally, I hate when my siblings in the back are asking for napkins and I have to go like reach to the glove compartment and I'm trying to drive. Instead, you can just put them on your little visor and pull them down from there. Way safer. A car trash bag. This can hang on the back of your seat. I think that's how the one that I'm linking on Amazon is and it's obviously self-explanatory. That way you can keep your car clean of trash and you just empty it out later. It's also reusable. A phone holder that you kind of put inside of your vent and then it holds your phone right there so you can see your navigation or whatever. The one that I'm linking in Amazon, I believe it charges your phone as well if you have like wireless charging, but you can get a normal one and it's so much safer a car tripod this is for all the content creators out there getting a car tripod for your camera is so helpful because when you want to vlog in the car and you don't have one that camera sliding left to right off of the dash potentially breaking an air humidifier breathing in good air good oxygen helping you stay peaceful and calm when there are slow drivers in front of you cleaning jelly this is helpful for like those dusty areas and you know that like space in the front i don't know what it's called it's not like your dash actually maybe i don't know with all your dials and stuff and it's like hard to dust that is where cleaning jelly comes in. You can just stick it in and get all the dust out, keeping your car nice and dust free. A dual USB car charger. This is just one of those chargers that you like plug in and then it has like multiple different outlets. So you can either charge multiple devices or just like different types of devices in general. Coaster insert. So you can spice up where you put your cups and a bunch of random change for some reason. Random change always ends up in my cup holders. Air fresheners. We want a good environment while we're in traffic. It's better to be smelling that fresh car scent. The last thing for this category is car hooks. These just hang on the back of your seat, I believe and you can hang like your purse or your bag or just whatever little trinkets you have that can hang on there it's just helpful all right we have made it to the last category in this video my throat dry I've been talking for 40 minutes straight last category I have for you guys is called random just a bunch of little things that I couldn't specifically place in any of the other categories first up we have cute stationery pretty self-explanatory when I have cute stationery cute papers pens all of that stuff so much more productive I'm a visual person if stuff looks cute I will do better and I will work harder that's just the way it goes a new planner Christmas is a perfect time of year to ask for a new planner that way you have a few days to just kind of start planning ahead that way you kick off the year on a good start and you're not like lost your thoughts aren't all over the place they're all in your planner a journal this can also kind of go along with the planner idea a new fresh book to start putting out your ideas and thoughts on. I journal every single day. Actually, let's see if you guys can see them. Right there, those are all journals, and then there's like more to the side right here. Ask for a journal, a cute one. Key decor. I don't know why I called it this, but this is basically like the little things that spice up your keys, such as those mini lanyards, the little chapstick holders so you can hold your chapstick with your keys, or a mini wallet. I personally have a chapstick holder, a little wallet, and a little lanyard, and they all match. They're from Thread Wallets, and I love it. That way I can just grab that, grab my phone, I'm good to go because I have my license, I have chapstick, I have cards my cash and my phone it's so helpful online course if you're not in school maybe and you want to still like learn something or there's something you're interested in this is a really cool thing to ask for for christmas there are online courses in almost anything now books need i say more no don't think so magnetic bookmarks these are just little bookmarks like this and you can put them onto your page and close them and they stay if you're super into books you can also ask for book ends to spice up your bookshelf They're so cute gift cards sometimes you just need a whole Christmas to ask for gift cards and then you can shop for whatever you want it makes it easy for the buyer it makes it easy for you 
A shopping trip. This can kind of go along with gift cards, but I just thought it would be cool to ask for specific gift cards to places. Maybe you and your sister both decide you want to like go on a big shopping trip together after Christmas or something. That would be really fun and you can like get each other gift cards and then go to those stores together. I don't know. Just an idea. Sunglasses. I feel like this is an obvious one. You can get high quality ones or like normal ones. Blue light glasses. I have some. I need to use mine more often because I'm on my screen all the time. Movie or concert tickets. This is like asking for experiences. Concert tickets are a really good one to ask for for Christmas because those things can get real pricey. Vinyl. So maybe if you got a record player or you have a record player, you can ask for some vinyl. A one year devotional. That way you have the whole devotional before the new year starts and you won't have an excuse to be behind. A tote bag. These are really cute and super easy. I love using my tote bag because it's just a cute looking bag, but also when you look inside of it, it's a mess because I throw whatever I want in there. I'm like keys, wallet, phone, book, whatever you want. Just throw it in there, grab it, you're good to go. And the last thing in this whole entire video, a luggage set. Luggage can be expensive and if you travel, you need luggage. Christmas is a good time to ask for it because luggage is a type of thing I will not buy myself new luggage. Because to me, if I buy myself new luggage, it's a waste of money. I know it's not, but it is to me. I don't know why, but if someone else buys it for me, thank you. I needed that so much. This is such a good gift. Now that my throat is super dry and I probably won't be able to talk for the rest of the day, that brings this whole Christmas wish list idea video to an end. I hope it was helpful for you guys. Hope you got some ideas and inspiration for things you can buy for your friends, family, or ask for for your own Christmas list. I think I put out some of my best videos during that time of the year, so please stick along for that. You won't want to miss it. Check out my Instagram if you want to see my face more than you already have. I feel like this video is going to be long, so I need to shut up and stop talking. Thank you guys for watching this video. Love y'all so much, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!